After several years, from the beginning of the tour, it's been a big subject on everybody's minds, really. Can we do the Yule Wall? No, everybody said. <laughs> Can we please do the Yule Wall? Again and again and again, no. And eventually, I think people have conceded that there are ways to achieve it, and we've gone for it. So we'll see for the first time the Yule Ball in the Great Hall this year, alongside the original Christmas dress from Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. The idea was to really turn Christmas on its head from the way we've seen it previously. Stephanie McMillan, who was the set decorator at that time, she found the silver lame, highly reflective fabric that was kind of liberating really because we were prepared to be bold. So every inch of every surface was covered in this highly reflective silver. It took about 12 weeks to dress the Great Hall for the film for shooting. We always knew this had to be achieved in five days in the tour. The iron sculptures, they're basically solid lumps of clear resin. It's a good metric tonne of resin sitting on, on each table there. We chromed all the instruments, we did all the music stands, we were covered in ice, we made a giant uh, ice block bandstand for Flitwick. Every attention to detail was taken throughout. This is the first time we've been able to look again at what we did for the film and to remember what a glorious piece of work it was. I must say, in retrospect, it was quite pleasing. It was a, it was a good thing to do. And this is the first time it's ever been attempted in the tour. It's very exciting. Yeah.